So you're looking at one of our turbo systems just about ready to be installed. It's for a 4.2 Toyota Land Cruiser engine, the good old 1HZ. This turbo is already assembled and ready to go. Just giving you a quick rundown on it. You have oil pressure going in and that gets tapped off down near the oil pressure sender unit on the engine. So you've got fresh engine oil under pressure coming into the bearings. The bearings are tucked down inside there, one on the inlet and one on the exhaust side. And the oil, well it goes out this pipe down the bottom and it drains down to the sump. You've got a couple of water fittings on here. You've got sort of basically a cross flow with water. So that whole housing there basically has on the outside of it like an engine block water running through it and that's there to keep the bearings a little bit safer. There's always debate about whether water cooling is needed on a diesel, it probably isn't really, but it's here and it's better and you don't need any cool down, you don't need a turbo timer with these systems. The turbo itself, there's obviously the exhaust side, so you have all the exhaust gases coming and getting down through the manifold here. They're separated into the three sections at the back and the three sections at the front go down into the turbo into this scroll we could call it and that spins the impeller up which is tucked down inside here no we just can't see it yes there it is spins that up and it comes out and goes out the exhaust pipe the shaft connected through here we can see the other impeller in there so you have the shaft connected through here being driven by the exhaust side and it does sort of the reverse you've got air coming down from your air cleaner going in and it spins up the air and boosts it out to the engine so your engine basically is getting a good mouthful of air all the time and as we know with diesels they need lots and lots of air when diesels run uh, you know sort of rich they run quite smoky when they run lean that's the best thing for them they're running cool and lean totally opposite to a petrol and that's where the tuning guys go wrong so for more information and to watch more of these videos you can go to YouTube you can look us up and keep watching us here on Facebook of course or you can go to our website, berrimadiesel.com, to find out more about turbocharging your diesel.